Hey guys, welcome back. Well, today we're going to do a new video and this video is going to be in Maya 2018, okay? And the topic is really non-existing because I'm just going to be fooling around a little bit and let's see what we end up with, all right? So let's check it out. Here we go. Hey right, guys, well, we're in uh, Maya 2018 and um, I'm going to start off by going up to uh, create polygon primitives and I'm going to use this soccer ball as I very rarely see people use this and we're just going to turn this into something fun okay so let's uh, select that we're going to go in and what I want to do is select all these small faces you have larger ones and smaller ones uh, six sides and five sides I'm going to go in right click the face and I'm going to start to select these smaller faces right here any of them um, I think we're good I'll just hit 4 for wireframe mode so we can kind of see whether we're good or not looks like we have symmetry good good hit 5 to go back and I'm gonna hit delete to delete those faces all right so now that that's all said and done what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna right click and go to face I'm gonna drag select everything and I'm gonna hit control E to extrude now, I want to do a couple of things. First, I want to increase the thickness. Let's do 0.3. Actually, I forgot one thing. My apologies. Back, back. Hit Control Z. Sorry about that. Keep face together off. All right, let's do that again. 0.3, which will give us something like this which looks uh, pretty funky all right okay what's next the offset now we can tweak that outwards or inwards okay and let's see what we prefer let's try 0 0.1 let's see what we get something like this pretty cool okay right so now that we have that a couple of options we can either go in and smooth this out so we can go to object mode hit three to preview smooth which will give us this thing or hit one and go back or we can go in right click go to edge drag select all the edges and go in to and i'm always looking for this thing uh, i think it's yeah here it is harden edge okay all right, so that's an extremely easy way to create something like this. Um, that's basically it. Uh, what I'll do just for the heck of it is I'll pour, uh, export this guy into Keyshot, put some nice texture on it and render it out just for fun. Okay, so you can uh, stick around for that or not, up to you. So I'm gonna go to object mode, I'm gonna go to file, I'm gonna export my selection, the option box, OBJ is fine export selection on my desktop and I'll call this uh, I don't know ball OBJ save it on my desktop and let's open up Keyshot all right so we're in uh, Keyshot let's go into file import I'm gonna look for my uh, ball OBJ there we go just gonna go straight forward and hit import and let's see if we can set up a nice render for this. So the material that I'm thinking about is something plastic and uh, soft plastic rubber potentially. Let's bring that in, drag that on. And I definitely want to change the color on that. So I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to go into that black color. Let's move that to something red-ish. All right, cool. Then uh, let's see, we're going to go into our environment. We're going to bring something in. Let's try the top one. I don't want to have that backdrop there. So I'm going to go to backdrop and change that to white solid. I'm just interested in the light that we're going to get. And uh, let's see if this is the one we want or if we want to use studio lighting. So let's try a three point light. Let's see whether that is a big difference. It looks like it is. Panels maybe. One of my favorites still too dark a little bit though so let's go back to our interior let's try a couple of these that's not bad i like that 
So we'll keep that one in mind. All right, cool. So now that we have that, we're gonna go up to uh, lighting. We're gonna go to full simulation. And then we're gonna tweak that. We're gonna go back in. I don't want caustics. Let's turn that off. And I don't want interior mode. Okay. Uh, let's see, everything else is fine. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our render window. Right there. And uh, let's see, we're gonna tweak a couple options here. I'm just gonna call this uh, ball render and I'll save that on my desktop. And I'm gonna save it out as a, um, a TIFF. Size is fine, 300 DPI is fine. I'm gonna go to options, maximum samples, And let's see, that all looks all right. Okie dokie, we're gonna get this out of the way. And let's go for a render, let's see what we get. Well, there you have it, that's it. So that's it for this video. Uh, like I said, just fooling around in Maya. And uh, nevertheless, hopefully you liked it. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you are not subscribed yet and you want to see future videos, please subscribe, okay? Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.